Hello friends, Drew here in Lannenburg, Pennsylvania, hanging out working on some garage doors. Customer uh, gave us a call because they had a, a contractor come out and put some door headers in and it didn't go exactly the way they wanted. Let me show you a little bit what's left of what's going on here. Um, we're not exactly sure why, but they stacked, the guy stacked new PVC AZAC product on top of the existing jam so here's the existing jam they just added the piece here they didn't even touch the weather stripping left the weather stripping here they added this piece here and they added the cap piece now what that did is that made this cap piece wider normally this would be a, a five quarter by four which is three and a half inches wide and now they've got something that's about four and a quarter coming across here well that gives you a problem up here at the top how are you supposed to bring a 45 degree miter in if your top is three and a half tall and this is four and a quarter wide. They're not gonna line up correctly. So he did this style on one, and then over on here, he tried cutting in separate blocks, and it just, it looks stupid. It was just bad, it was really bad. And the customer fought with him a couple times trying to get it fixed, and uh, couldn't get it so that they were happy. So uh, what we're doing is working on removing all of these. Uh, all this trim's gonna come off, and the guys have already uh, started pulling these guys here. So the next step is to get this old jam leg out of here. And that's just the decorative AZAX. You, inside, inside here, you're gonna find a two by six um, jack stud and then the cam studs that support the header over the garage door, which you're not gonna be able to see because there's drywall up. So you're gonna to to take my word for it. But there's a beam that runs across over top of that door, comes into this space, and there's probably one or two studs underneath it and then a stud next to it. Should be two, two underneath it, I believe. Um, I leave the structural stuff to Norm, that's his job. And so we've got these guys apart, and uh, we're starting to take the heads off and get the jam legs out. Once the jam legs are out, we can put new ones in. And uh, so we just picked those up from Oxford Feed this morning. We got those here on top of the trailer. And uh, so that's our new material. And we'll, uh, we'll get this back together, and it's gonna look pretty when we're done. So, and then the customer can not have this head every time she pulls into her garage looking at the, just the atrocity that was this, uh, this little fix that they did um so yeah if you've got something in your home that's irking you or you hired somebody to do something that didn't come out quite the way you wanted and uh, you're looking to have it done correctly give our team a call weekdays 9 30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon at 484-748-0008 coat built your full service construction and renovation company is your pennsylvania home improvement contractor number 88078 remember when we're done with it you're gonna be proud to say it's not just done it was coat built. Take a picture of what you have done at your house. Send it to us here on our Facebook page. If you're following us on, on uh, YouTube, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notifications button. There's nothing we can't help you with. Roofing, siding, windows, doors, decks, interiors, exteriors, uh, the drywall repairs, the plumbing stuff, the electrical stuff, uh, the leaks that drive you crazy, uh, wind damage, whatever it may be. Building your custom dream home, putting a dish on your house. Give our team a call, and we'll be happy to uh, take care of that for you. So. These guys are rocking and rolling. I'm going to go head up onto a roof patch and get that done this afternoon before it gets too warm. And we'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now.